Alright guys, in this video we will see how we can switch between different branches and uh, grab the information that we will need. For example, here I have one file which is uh, index.html. This is its last version saved inside of the master branch. Then I've created also feature branch and I'd like to see the changes between those two branches. And if I switch to the feature version, actually here from the timeline, I can see versions of the file. So for example, um, it was empty. This was our first commit. Then the file was updated, uh, again updated, and then the file was moved. So we cannot longer see uh, the file under the root folder uh, because it's moved and uh, now it's under the source uh, folder. And imagine a situation where we would like uh, from the master branch to take information uh, which has been right now in the feature branch. And as you can see here, it's very difficult because the timeline doesn't give us uh, this information because the file is moved. So one way to do this is to use a git graph, this extension. So we'll just point to the feature branch. And when we click on the file, now we see its uh, current version and uh, we just copy the information from here just visually and we can close the comparison and uh, one way is just uh, to go while we are on the master branch and just uh, paste the new version uh, here. Uh, this might be useful because uh, uh, let's say that we have a lot of unstaged uh, changes and uh, if we want to switch the branches, we need to stash them. So it's a long procedure like this. Uh, uh, visually, we can uh, navigate through our uh, files and uh, basically choose what we would like uh, to pick. One more thing I would like to mention is that, for example, this file might be three to 400 lines, and then it's difficult to see what is the real difference between uh, the current version in the master branch and the feature branch because uh, we have a new name for the file. In this case, we can use a little bit uh, different approach by just copying the information from the feature branch. And while we are still on the master branch, we can uh, create one just temporary file, temporary index, where we will paste the new information. Then we can right click on the index and click on the option select for compare the same right click and compare with selected and this will give us the difference between the two files in this way again we'll see what is in the latest version and what is in our current version inside of our branch so we can choose what we would like uh, to grab uh, from this branch and if we are happy with the changes very easily we can apply them uh, on our master branch and when ready uh, we can just uh, delete the temporary uh, index HTML file. As you can see, you can apply changes quite easily. And uh, I would suggest this approach for making and testing local changes. Instead of having uh, uh, to merge the feature branch into the master branch and then to see the changes and to edit which one you would like uh, to keep and which one uh, you would like to discard. Okay, so my recommendation goes to this uh, extension. You can find really useful uh, cases for uh, its usage. So go ahead and try it.